Good morning. I'm speaking with you today from the Sarah and Abraham Lopez Dice Hall in the annex of Bevis Mark Synagogue. I'm here with you today from a beautiful painting uh, that was made by Aaron de Chavez here in London in 1675. Uh, as you can see, it depicts the Aseret Hadibrot, uh, the Ten uh, Commandments. And so I'm going to speak with you today about it uh, as a lead up to the festival of Shavuot, which is in just under three weeks. Uh, in fact, uh, all of the upcoming videos uh, over the next few weeks will have something to do with uh, Shavuot or the Torah uh, and so forth uh, here at the synagogue. Uh, this painting, as you can see, uh, depicts the Ten Commandments uh, with their translations into Spanish. Uh, people often come into the synagogue and say, oh look, it's translated into Ladino. Um, but that's not actually uh, correct. Uh, Ladino is a language that was spoken uh, by uh, Sephardic Jews in the Ottoman Empire. It was a mix of medieval Castilian uh, with some Arabic and some Greek uh, kind of, uh, and Hebrew uh, worked uh, together. But of course, the language of uh, Jews in Spain would essentially have been whichever part of Spain they would have uh, lived in, Catalonian, Castilian, uh, and so on. Uh, the Jews who came to this country primarily spoke uh, in Portuguese, um, but the high language was often translations into, into Castilian, into Spanish. Uh, and so here you can see those uh, translations here. Uh, one of the best translations was pointed out to me by one of our members, uh, Tilla and Ben Crown, who showed that the translation for Lotirzach uh, here says, no mates, uh, which if you're British uh, is particularly uh, funny. Um, but what's really interesting about this, uh, about this uh, painting um, is that it of course depicts the image of Moses uh, over here and Aaron, his brother Aaron, the high priest on this side. And what's uh, surprising about it is that it actually depicts uh, the human figure, uh, which is unusual, of course, uh, according to some people, that goes against one of the Ten Commandments itself. So that's ironic of not uh, making any graven images. Um, but there were other opinions on that issue that said that the only prohibition was to make a, uh, a actual rendering of a person, a 3D uh, rendering, uh, but simply a, uh, a painting such as this would not have been uh, any problem. And there's a number of interesting uh, kind of points on here. You can even see the uh, shofar coming out from heaven, uh, an indication of the sound of the shofar that would have been heard on Mount Sinai um, and other uh, little features here and there. Um, what's interesting about this painting, which of course predates Bevis Mark Synagogue, is that it had originally hung in the Cree Church Lane Synagogue that I pointed out in a video uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, and there it hung above the Hechal. And so we're, in many of our synagogues, uh, as well as here at Bevis, we're used to having the Ten Commandments appear above the Hechal, above the Ark. There they had this painting uh, above, uh, above the Ark itself. Uh, again, showing the Ten Commandments. Uh, and so that, of course, would be really interesting because I don't know of other synagogues that actually would have paintings of the Ten Commandments with people um, on them. Um, and indeed, when they built Bevis Marks, they constructed a more typical uh, rendering with just the Ten Commandments itself um, and didn't hang this painting uh, there uh, again. Uh, of course, the Ten Commandments are central to uh, Judaism. They were the uh, uh, basis of the uh, covenant between uh, God and the Jewish people, the uh, perhaps sampling of the laws that the people were able to, to see these laws and on the basis of that to accept the entire uh, Torah. Uh, and so on Shavuot itself, we actually read the Ten Commandments uh, from the Torah as we recall that event that happened uh, as we traveled in the desert uh, so many thousands of years ago. And so this is just a little bit of a... Uh, uh, start as we go into the weeks before Shavuot. Uh, while we may not be able to celebrate together in person, uh, please God, we'll all be able to uh, celebrate uh, nonetheless. Wish you all well and have a good day.